everybody, and good Wednesday evening to you. It is the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video, Weather for Weather Geeks. We're about a third of the way through August, believe it or not. More and more, we're starting to think about fall and starting to think about the start of school here in the next couple of weeks, and the weather may not be very fall-like for a lot of the second half of August. We'll talk about the longer range at, this, at the end of this video, but let's focus on the short term first, and this is where we were in terms of high temperatures across the eastern U.S. today. All the blue circles are below average highs yellow and uh, kind of orange to red circles are warmer than average highs. As you can see, the, the blue circles definitely outnumber the warm ones or the yellow ones. Uh, we were one degree above the average here locally. Generally speaking, though, this is not a very hot pattern we're in across the eastern part of the country. And, you know, it's been like that for a lot of the summer. It has not been a particularly hot summer, both here locally and across a lot of the Midwest. But again, we'll talk about the longer range at the end of the video. This, uh, you know, the second half of August may prove to be uh, one of the hotter stretches we've had so far this season. 83 today at the airport, 62 is where we started this morning. Overall, very seasonable within a couple of degrees of those seasonal averages. How about uh, the morning of August the 9th, 1989? It was 41 degrees that morning. Burr. Might have been some furnaces kicking on August the 9th back in 1989. In 1930, our record high today, 95 degrees. Now, it is a little bit more humid here locally than it was 24 hours ago, but bigger dew point jumps are occurring in central and southwest Ohio, Columbus down to Cincinnati. It's muggy down there, and that more humid air is coming our way tonight, heading into at least the first half of the day on Thursday. As of this recording at 727, we've had a couple of pesky thunder showers north of Columbus along I-71. As we're losing the daylight hours, though those are fading away. The bigger, more substantial area of rain is certainly out to the west, though, across parts of Indiana and Illinois and just crossing into Ohio. And this is what's heading, heading our way later on tonight into tomorrow morning. We've got a soggy period ahead of us overnight, and we'll break this down on uh, our high-res modeling here. Uh, I think, you know, the, the trend has been a little bit faster with the arrival of some of this rain. So it's going to start raining in a lot of our area by 2 or 3 in the morning. Uh, by 4 or 5, it may be coming down at a good clip. There might be some thunder in the middle of the night tonight. But a faster arrival time of the rain overnight means a faster departure for this rain tomorrow morning. We should be drying things out fairly quickly by between 7 and 9 a.m. Some locally heavy amounts of rain over the next 72 hours where some flood watches are in effect for southern Ohio. Parts of the Cincinnati area might pick up a few inches worth of rain for us. Rainfall amounts will be a lot more modest. Here's a look at uh, some of our latest modeling. We have uh, the NAM model in the uh, kind of yellow-orange here going a little bit crazy, but the model consensus is generally a half an inch or less, and I kind of think that's the right idea. There could be some downpours later on tonight into tomorrow morning, but most of us will probably not pick up more than a half an inch worth of rain. So after a damp start, pretty rapid improvement by midday on our Thursday. The sun will break out, but as long as this front is still lurking to our north, we're going to have to allow for a passing shower late in the afternoon, early in the evening. I don't think this is going to be much. A lot of us probably won't even see this, but it's going to be possible as this front makes its pr approach between, say, 5 and 8 p.m., uh, there could be a shower in a couple of spots. Then a slice of nice for Friday. We're in this kind of back-and-forth pattern where it's nice one day, not so nice the next. And Friday from start to finish is going to be a fine day with a good deal of sun. But clouds will increase Friday night. Another warm front's heading our way Friday night. With this, will pro probably come a pretty decent chance of showers and storms overnight. And kind of a tricky forecast for Saturday. You know, it's a still summer, it's a weekend day. We've still got a lot of weddings and outdoor things to do on Saturdays at this time of the year. So this is an important, albeit tricky, forecast for Saturday. I do think we have a pretty good chance of showers and storms early in the day. As we get into the afternoon, this cold front will make its approach kind of like it will tomorrow. The timing kind of similar. There's a little more atmospheric dynamics, a little more wind energy aloft with this system on Saturday. So uh, anything that does pop later in the afternoon along and just ahead of this front could be on the strong side. I think it's going to be pretty spotty. But late afternoon, early evening on Saturday, that's a period where we'll have to be maybe a little bit weather aware after a long dry stretch for a lot of the midday and early afternoon. Late afternoon, early evening Saturday, maybe a trouble spot with uh, potential anyway for some showers and perhaps some gusty thunderstorms as well. So here's a look at the kind of our first stab at breaking this down hour by hour. There'll be several hours of dry time on Saturday before that possibility exists of a late day shower or a storm. All right, as we look at the longer range, we talked about this some last evening in case you didn't watch Weather Geeks last evening. Uh, this is going to be a pattern that is starting to look pretty toasty for the second half of August. This is today's CPC Outlook Climate Prediction Center. Uh, from the 17th through the 23rd, odds are fairly strongly favoring a warmer than average stretch here. Now, 
this looks like a lot, but what we want to focus on here is kind of the end of this graph. This is around August 20th through the 24th, and this is today's what we call European uh, Ensemble Model. 51 members of this model ensemble. Out of those 51 members, you can get an average, and that's the green line right here. Um, that's the mean or average, and that would suggest we have a lot of days during that stretch with highs in the 80s. But this is what we call a box and whisker plot. The average is that green line, but you'll notice contained, that green line is contained within a box. Um, and this is, while the green line is the average, the kind of 25th to 75th uh, percentile, if you will, is contained in that box. And then the whiskers at the top and bottom are the least likely solutions, but non-zero. So it's, you know, in other words, the model is seeing maybe a 5% chance of Tuesday the 22nd being in the upper 90s. Um, the reason I show you this is while this stuff up here is pretty unlikely, it's a non-zero chance and it shows kind of the top end potential of this pattern if uh, everything were to come together just right. Uh, we could be in for some you know pretty good heat uh, during that last third of the month. It's not the most likely situation that we see you know middle and upper 90s certainly. We haven't seen that kind of heat really in 11 years. Um, but while the model average right now is in the fairly seasonable 80s, the pattern will hold some potential for some heat, I think, during that uh, last half, especially the last 10 days of August, just in time for everybody I know to head back to school. Doesn't it seem like that always happens? Not always. It seems like it does, but it doesn't always happen. Um, but oftentimes it seems like uh, it gets pretty hot just as the kids are heading back to school. Most schools these days are air conditioned, but maybe some aren't. And uh, whether it be at, uh, at school or home or businesses, air conditioners could get pretty busy once again later this month. So summer is far from over. It has not been a particularly hot summer, but we may have some late summer heat to contend with. We'll talk more about the longer range future editions of this video. In the meantime, enough babbling from me on this Wednesday evening. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back here on Thursday.